What if there is a place in the world filled with a certain hatred for each other? That hatred filled the government and filled the streets. That hatred is racism and that places the USA. People are racist because they are afraid of not being in control or not being the best race. It's natural that when people are it's natural that when people are not in control that they do anything to try and regain it, but pushing down other people to try and regain, regain control is wrong. Racism is a huge problem because it's in the people who are supposed to watch over the citizens. The police, which is where I'm going to start off today. Police brutality is one of the huge forms of racism. Policemen sometimes suspect certain races for crimes and are way more aggressive towards other races than necessary. For example, there's a black man named Oscar Grant who was, a race, who was arrested by a white policeman named Johannes Mahesler after hearing reports of a fight. Then when Oscar was unarmed and lying on the ground, he turned him over and shot him dead. Another example is when a black policeman named Mohammed Noor killed an unar unarmed white lady named Justin Damone. He came back after hearing some suspicious activity in the neighborhood and saw her at the police car and took out his gun and shot her. Now it's time to talk about another form of racism involving the government. You know what the government thinks of immigrants. Our president got rid of a program called DACA that protected youth immigrants from deportation. He also signed orders on border security and interior enforcement. People think immigrants take people's jobs, but they take unwanted jobs that people don't want. Without immigrants, farmers and other people can't have all of their work done. Our president wants to deport two, um, 2 million to 3 million immigrants, which could change our economy because, believe it or not, Immigrants are starting to become a growing share of the U.S. labor force, so getting rid of them is going to be a problem. I've talked about forms of racism, but racism can actually cause some bad health conditions. An effect of racism is psychological problems. There was a 15-year-old kid who was from Haiti who committed suicide because of racist bullying. Racism can actually cause post-trauma stress disorder, which is when you have constant emotional and mental stress. Microaggression is a small reaction that you have because you have a certain disliking to a group. These small things, like walking off the sidewalk or clutching onto your belongings when another race walks on... Ugh. These small things, like walking off the sidewalk and clutching onto belongings when somebody walks on a sidewalk, can lead to different mental health difficulties like anxiety and panic attacks, depression, and eating disorders. We need to act. Don't reject Mexicans and Latinos from the USA and not assuming people are a certain way because of looks. Now imagine there is a place in the world with perfect harmony and everyone worked together. Peace on the streets and peace in the whole country. We can be like the yin yang and become a system that is better than the parts separate. That's what the U.S. can be if we stop racism. Good night.